on tour has the biggest bed of any pleasure way uh, on the market this is a 79 inch long bed so any customers that are a little taller will find this is a an advantage for them it's also more interior height this is a six foot six interior in the on tour which is taller than any other pleasure way so you have the biggest bed the most height and when we get up here you'll see it also has the biggest bathroom hello hello here we are i'm tavon this is david, and david. my name's rick we're here at fretz rv looking at the new on tour 2.2 on a very rainy day. Rainy, damp day, yes, but... <laughs> it's a very, very hot, uh, rainy day. We're having fun. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Let's go off for the tour. Yeah, let's take... Newest Ford sync system. It's a voice-activated combination of uh, radio, hands-free phone, Bluetooth, navigation. Uh, there's apps that you can run on here. It has all kinds of settings. Uh, Sirius Travel Link is available. Uh, the navigation screen has different settings and adjustments. So we have a similar system to this in my wife's car, and it's very user friendly. It's it's easy to set up, and uh, and very easy to use. So I think uh, that is an improvement over some of the other systems that are out there very comfortable seats and that the steering wheel you showed the adjustment that was in the other video right mm -hmm. this the the pro master has only telescoping where this has telescope and tilt uh, it's a nice roomy cockpit i think you found there's plenty of leg room in there yes there is yeah and uh good vision they cut the door windows down low so that uh you have a real good view of the road, a view of your mirrors. They give you a lot of storage, even little cubbies. They don't waste any space. Down here next to the glove box, there's some little little storage compartments, cup holders sprinkled around. And that handle's nice. Yeah, like that. yeah, that gives you a nice secure uh, grab handle for getting in and out. There's USB ports up front. There's 12 volt chargers. Um, there's steering wheel controls for your hands-free operation to work the radio, to work your phone. Everything's right at your fingertips. So we've been excited to get this and uh, we're, we're happy that it's finally here. And uh, I think for folks that are looking to save some money over the Mercedes, uh, who don't want to deal with the diesel motor home, who are concerned about perhaps service availability this really hits the spot, and I, I think it's going to be very, very popular. So here we have the big, deep undermount stainless steel sink with the same residential-style faucet that Pleasure Way uses in all their motor homes. We mentioned the screens of front and side, or front and back, rather. This is your side door screen. This zips down. It's the same as the rest of the models that we offer with the magnetic catch to get in and out. Another new thing for the on tour is they've gone to an induction cooktop. This is an electric cooktop, works off of your batteries, or if you're plugged in, it'll work off the inverter. Uh, it's, it's nice because it's a nice smooth top, easy to keep clean, and a lot of people like the safety aspect that there's no open flame in the motorhome. Uh, induction cooktop, you can read up online a little bit about them, but you need a, a certain type of a pan that sits on here and gets hot right away. You turn it off and it gets cold almost instantly. I've seen videos where they, they boil water and take the pot off, and within a few seconds you can lay your hand right on here. So that's a, that's a new feature for Pleasure Way that I think people are going to like. It's a convection microwave. Uh, the same one they use in their other products. It's a nice size. It's full of the, all the packing materials now since it's brand new. But uh, this will run off of your inverter. Uh, customers say they can run this for quite a while if their batteries enough time to bake potatoes or, or to heat up anything that you want to heat up in there. It works real well. Typical Pleasure Way solid 
Canadian maple cabinet doors. They offer two colors in the on tour. This is the blonde maple, and then they have mocha, which is a same wood, just stained a little darker. All the boxes are solid wood, uh, screwed, glued together, all mortise and tenon joints here. There's no no staples. Everything is, is solid, hand-fitted in here. This is all plywood with uh, Formica laminate. There's no wraps. There's no particle board. Uh, real top quality. One of the other differences is the blinds on this. Since it's a Ford chassis, they have a little different system for the windows. This has a, a blind that pulls down like that for privacy. And then it has a screen that pulls up like that. And you can hook the two together and kind of go how you like with that or unclip them and work them separate. And then these windows tilt out. They're not the typical awning window, but they're somewhat larger than what they have as well. This one opens out like that. You work these in conjunction with your roof fan and they really pull the air in. Most people are, are surprised when we run the fan with these windows open. It, it really creates a nice breeze in here. So lagoon table, we've looked at this in some of our other videos, but these are kind of fun. They go all over the place. You can loosen them up and uh, spin it in all directions. It, it adjusts up and down for height. You could put it here and raise it up a little and have it as additional counter space. Uh, you can swing it in all kinds of directions. It, it unhooks off of here easily and can be stored out of the way when you're not using it. Pleasure Way uses the, the ultra leather material for their furniture with uh, memory foam underneath, nice and comfortable. Uh, the sofa works off of the control panel. There's one in the front that I showed you, and then there's this one in the back, which is, is the same. And I'm just going to extend the sofa here. And there you go. And then in the closet oh. are these two boards. If you can just get a quick look at those, Javon. Mm -hmm. They just clip into place there. And those boards, it's pretty typical for any Class B. Uh, they, they fit across here. And then these back cushions would fill in and make this one big bed. But we'll retract this sofa. And you could stop that at any position you want if you wanted to just recline and read or, or get comfortable. Move our table out of the way. Smart TV, they all come with a standard LG uh, smart TV. So this is internet capable. Uh, as long as you have an internet signal, you could stream Wi-Fi or, or Hulu or Amazon Prime. It comes also with a Bose soundbar, which really, really sounds good in this space. For movies, you can pair your phone to the soundbar and play your music through the Bose speaker, and it sounds really nice. There's USB ports on both sides back here. Duck around the corner, but there's, there's a USB for two, two outlets on each side. So there you go, take a peek at that. But uh, this is the set of blinds. There's three, one for the windshield and then one for each side door that fit into place. They're held on with little magnets so that you can completely close this up for privacy. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with a LG Blu-ray disc player for people that like to watch DVDs. You'd be ready for that. Uh, and then one of the newer, if you back up a little, we'll show you this. This is one of the other new features for Pleasure Way is the use of a compressor refrigerator. We mentioned this outside a little bit. This is a 12 volt compressor refrigerator uh, with a separate freezer compartment that's 
a little deeper than it looks initially. It kind of goes down in there. It's, it's not a bad size. So this is going to run off 12 volts. So it'll run off the batteries, your lithium batteries. When you're plugged in, you're, you're charging the batteries. So it's kind of a, goes in a loop and you'll have plenty of power. You could run this for, for a long, long time. Your batteries are charged whenever you're driving. They're charged when you run the generator. They're charged by your solar panels and they're charged whenever you're plugged in. So the advantages of a compressor refrigerator are several. One, it'll get cold right away. I mean, within an hour, you're gonna have cold refrigerator where with a typical uh, gas absorption refrigerator that runs on propane, it can be, they say up to 10 hours to get as cold as it's gonna get. At least five, six, seven hours to get cold. The other advantage of this is that it doesn't require uh, being level. Uh, a gas absorption refrigerator typically should be fairly level when you're parked stationary and running it for any length of time. When you're driving, you're okay, because it kind of evens itself out up and down. But this, you could be on a slight angle and it's not gonna hurt it at all. There's just an on and off switch in here to turn it on and adjust the, the temperature and it's more like a residential refrigerator that it's going to run. Um, yeah, there's the model number if somebody needs to look it up and do a little more research. But I think uh, people are going to find this is a real nice feature. So the power fuse box is down here with your circuit breakers and fuses down here near the floor. All the pleasure ways come with standard safety features of, that's a propane uh, leak detector and a carbon monoxide alarm. There's also a smoke detector up overhead. It comes standard with a, with a uh, fire extinguisher as well. So all that is uh, on board in the unlikely event you'd need it. This is access to the back of your water heater here. This panel might be curious for some folks, but there's just four screws. And when it's time to winterize or de-winterize, that's where you'd, you'd access the valves for your water heater. Uh, the other big feature of this is the bathroom. This not only has the tallest ceiling, the biggest bed, but it also has the biggest bathroom of any any pleasure way that's on the market. So if you want to come back where you can open the door there, we'll get a look in the bathroom. And I think you'll see, just push the button. You got it. And we can put the lights on in here. Mm -hmm. The bathroom lights are the only ones that aren't controlled on your panel. Cause obviously if you're in here, you want to have control of your own lights. Some people that have watched a lot of these videos or, or that know Pleasure Way will notice this is the only one with the toilet facing forward. They've, they've reconfigured this bathroom and made it quite a bit bigger. It's, I don't know if the video is going to show, but it is substantially bigger than, than the other models. There's storage underneath the vanity there. You can give that a tub or any of your bathroom supplies. And then it also has a standard medicine cabinet up top. Stainless steel sink, Corian countertops, porcelain toilet. Um, pretty nice. We have a cow bar here. These lights just each work individually. There's two lights in there. That's your shower curtain comes around. It's still compact, but that's kind of the point of it. But there's plenty of leg room in there and, and room to stand up and move around. Mm -hmm. Here's Pleasure Ways uh, touchscreen control. There's two of these, one in the front, one in the back. You work your climate control. Here's your electrical system. You see your battery. It shows we're using four amps of power uh, just with the lights on that we're using. Here's where you can start and stop your generator. And this, like the rest of the Pleasure Ways, has the automatic gen start, this AGS, which allows you to program the generator 
to run in conjunction with the climate control or to come on automatically and top up your batteries should they start to become depleted uh, it'll automatically top them up so and then up here is all your your uh, plumbing system here so you can turn the water pump off and on your fresh water your gray your black and your propane levels are all shown there now, this one's winterized so there's it's showing a little bit of water in the gray tank and then this is your main lighting you can turn your porch light on and off and your main entry light off and on and backlight is just to turn the whole whole display off and then from there you can jump and this is the rest of your lights that you can individually work each light has a dimmer as well so you can dim it and then you go to this screen and you can work your roof fan which uh, up here is the fantastic fan that uh, has a speed control it opens automatically I'm not going to do it now because of the rain it's also equipped with a rain sensor so if we did open it up and turn it on uh, it would close automatically for us because of the weather and then you also put your awning in and out and you can uh, extend and retract your sofa from here to turn it into a bed this has the new Truma Varia heat uh, heating system and that's all controlled from here you have a a setting here for the for the um, temperature inside the van. You have a setting for your water heater, for the fan. It all works through this control panel here. So you can turn it off and on, set it. Very easy to use. This is a go power for your solar panels. This is just the controller. There's it's all set at the factory. It really just monitors and lets you know what going what's going on. You have the sun. We're not getting much today, but we are fully charged. So uh, in this case, you're going to get a little even on a cloudy day, but it's pretty cloudy out there. This is the uh, inverter. This motorhome has two 100 amp hour lithium batteries under the back seat. And this is a uh, 2000 watt inverter that... I'm turning on here. There we go. So now your microwave's lit up and all your outlets on here are inverted. You can plug in up to a 2000 watt appliance in any of the outlets. Uh, even your outside outlets are all controlled under the inverter. And here it shows our batteries, 13.4 volts. And right now our inverter has no load on it. We don't have anything plugged in. Uh, but if I turned on the microwave, you could watch TV, you could play a movie, uh, run a small appliance like a coffee pot, uh, anything like that, a little fan, uh, all off your inverter. So when you're not plugged in, you run the inverter, and then you can turn it off uh, when you're done with it. I mentioned the Vario heat. It has outlets here. It has outlets here. You can see back here, there's more outlets near the floor. I think there's one up front as well. So it, it's a nice even disbursement of the heat. I think it's a big improvement. People are gonna like that. 